Hey guys, it's Gadget, and yes, if you've been to Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, you have seen this before, and everything. Uh, yes, I found the headband. I found the headband that made its debut at New York Comic-Con all those years back and everything. Yep, it's pretty cool and stuff. It's I gotta fix it. It's not falling apart yet and everything, but how's everybody's day? I know today is a sad day. That's why I wanted to look a little silly today and everything, because we have lost... Uh, two actors. One from Game of Thrones and one from the world of television, voiceover, anything, okay? And let me just get all my notes together and everything because right now I have been going through hell because right now my friend is having a serious time and I, I'm waiting by the phone for her and everything. I also received some good news as well as many other things and also some crazy phone calls from people and stuff. So yeah, How's your day been? So let's see. Usually I want to do reviews and everything because, like I said, we have old news because um, it seems that the uh, British trio or whatever they want to call be called now has basically not given up. And the lone wolf, Luke Rich, a.k.a. Vanity Smurf, okay, no more Skywalker for him. We don't want to insult the Star Wars franchise, Okay, uh, Vanity Smurf decided to keep up some more stuff and everything, and as I posted before, there's been a lot of stuff going on this week in my life and everything. So right now, let me start with getting into my notes and everything with the Marku42 website and everything and stuff. My computer was down for a little bit, so I couldn't write any stories and things. So yeah, with all the other stuff and everything, I'm just like, you know what I mean? Dealing with things. Well, first we're going to start with today we received breaking news that um, Bill Paxton had passed away due to complications to surgery. And basically, he was best known for like weird science and things like that. But many forget he was in the Thunderbirds movie. When I was growing up, my uncle would always get us the old um, British cartoon, well, uh, puppeteer series of the Thunderbirds Go. And I loved that growing up. It used to be shown also sometimes too on special holiday things here and stuff in the United States and everything, right? So I grew up with the Thunderbirds and everything, FAB, you know? And basically, I was very happy when they did the Thunderbirds. It's, it's an underrated movie and everything and stuff. So Bill Paxton was in that, and that's how I remember my generation with that and everything and stuff, as well as Weird Science, as well as I just heard that he was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because I lost with all the stuff going on in my life and everything. I, I hadn't been able to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything and stuff because it keeps going on at different times when I'm watching other things and stuff. And it's very sad that he passed away. He was only 61 years old, and he had a lot ahead of him and everything, right? So, Marco42 and us, we, we gave, we did the report and everything, and it looks really good and stuff. And then, as I was finishing up the story on that, we got another story that hit was, um, if you watch Game of Thrones, the actor, basically, Neil, I cannot, Figgleton and everything, Figgleton, had passed away at 36 years old. That's a young age to pass away. He was seven feet tall and everything, basketball player and everything, who turned actor. And he was from, believe it or not, Durham, England, where sort of the idiot lives. Yeah, where Christopher lives, sort of. Well, basically, I think it's a ways throw because um, he was, even though he was in County Durham, he was in Copley. This one was born in Durham, but came to the States and everything later on and stuff and was well offered, I think they said and everything. But I was still doing more research on this story and stuff. So basically, two deaths today, and then Judge Wapner, all the other stuff and everything, right? So. That's here and there on that. And then, like I said, this week has been very interesting because I'm trying to see what I can do over here and stuff. Um, let's just get Be Happy, Be Bright, You, You in there with the, the little cutesy there and everything. Uh, well, basically, um, Luke has not let up. Luke has given me a hashtag, Oscar the Grouch. Calls me the village idiot and everything, right? And we've had discussions about this. Thank you. Um... Everyone that I know and I tell them the situation says Christopher was an ass as well as Luke is an ass. And they don't know if they're they're dealing with each other's asses. Okay? Now, this is all alleged people and everything of the stuff that I think goes on with them and stuff because of how many phone calls I have received telling me that they're an item even though Luke is married and everything. His poor wife must be going through hell the way I'm going through hell, right? I mean, but the only difference is, is that um, you can stop this, you know? Christopher can stop this and everything, but he doesn't want to. And that's where something else comes in that I found today that one of my friends sent to me. As you all well know, I'm an empath, right? So basically, one of my friends had posted something and they said, this might be you. And then another friend posted the same thing. 
So I said, okay, fine, let me read it and everything, right? And it says, toxic attraction between an empath and a narcissist. All right? Yeah, Christopher's a narcissist, as well as all the other ones out there. Okay? And most of the key elements of this is that it's basically how a narcissist and an empath uh, interact with each other. One draws where one gives, you know, and stuff like that. Basically, the narcissist is the vampire where the empath is the sustenance and everything, right? So if you take from this and everything, based on the article and stuff, the most key point is the narcissist's agenda is one of manipulation. It is imperative that they are in a position whereby they can rise above and be in control. The empath's agenda is to love, heal, and care. There is no balance and it is extremely unlikely, unlikely they ever will be one. The more love and care an empath author offers, the more powerful and in control narcissist will become. The ability for these two types to bond is quite simply impossible. The narcissist's heart is closed and an empath's is open. It is nothing short of a recipe for a huge disaster and not a beautiful one. Now here's the thing about this and everything. Yes, Christopher may be an uh, underlying, borderline narcissist, the way he's been acting and everything and stuff, because there have been times where he doesn't like to be shout out. He doesn't like to have his ego, you know what I mean? But he wants his ego stroked. He wants someone to take care of him and everything. Now, you see, I'm an empath, but I'm a little different when it comes to empathic ability and stuff, where this is basically saying the heart and everything, right? And stuff, yeah. If Christopher wanted someone to care for him, or if Luke wanted someone to care for Christopher, why get rid of me? All my life I've been caring and taking care of people. I'm the one now that needs to be taken care of, but I will not let anybody down. But I don't want to be caught up in a narcissistic relationship where I don't have a say and they all want to make lies and rumors and false truths about me. Like the girl who called here and said that Luke knows me intimately and knows all about me, has met me. And I was like, Luke does not even know me, never even met me. Okay. It's Christopher who is spreading the half-truths about everything because he doesn't want to jeopardize his friendship with these people. And that's where it also they're narcissistic against him because basically, and manipulating such an, if he's got to do half-truths about someone who cares about him and has bent over to help him and stuff in the sense of basically trying to get him here to the States. Where was Gwen? Where was Jen and Ed? Where was all of these people who claim to be his friends here in the United States? Why weren't they calling the consulate? Why weren't they doing their research, homework, or anything to try to get him here to see why he was blocked? Why they called him a job stealer? All this stuff. Why was it left to me? And Christopher gets to tell people that. Because even Gwen had said, oh, you're the girl helping him with medical? He never told us your name. See, that's the problem. I don't like being kept secret because that leads to lies. That leads to half-truths. And that's still considered a lie. Like I had to explain to Carrie Ad one time when he didn't tell me Carrie Ad was in the hotel room with him when both their pictures matched up and everything on their Facebook pages and everything. And Carrie Ad said to me, and she will deny this because the little monster doesn't realize Facebook saves everything and stuff. It's like, oh, that's not a lie if he doesn't tell you. Yes, it is. Especially when I see two of the same picture or the same hotel room. In the pictures, you know, and if it was a way to get me jealous, it doesn't work because then just makes me think, okay, fine, you're an ass. And if that's the type of person you're going to be, you go bye-bye and everything. So this game of manipulation and everything and stuff has got to stop. That's why I am tired of this. Now he's bugging my friends as well as Luke is bugging my friends because they can't even see my page anymore and stuff. And there's a reason why. Because one of the guys I was promoting, his little whatever barfly thing you want to call her and stuff, or whatever he met her and stuff, I don't know what she is because I don't know her, claims to think she knows me and thinks there's something. And I'm like, no, there isn't because my good news is going to be coming in about a year or so, but it's not my news to share because we don't know if this will happen. Okay? It's stipulating on what happens with, with things that are going on around the situation and everything. So that's not even my good news. It's good news for me. In the sense it relates to me, but it's not my good news. You know what I mean? It's happy news for me and stuff like that. So things are going to get better if this happy news happens and everything and stuff. But at the same time, it's I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but it's, it was told to me I have good news coming my way by the person or persons or the person or the person or for that or piss that. You know what I mean? I'm not telling you guys because Luke has made it bad for all of you guys to know more about my life series. And I'll have to wait until... Things happen to show you on here because you guys don't understand it how 
society works nowadays, I think, because back when I was learning about society and stuff and everything, we actually didn't have technology like this. We didn't have cell phones or anything. We had black and white TV and we talked to people. We had to do and take a book to do our research and everything. We had to use a card catalog, stuff like that, that people in their 30s, their 20s and their teens and everything don't know about and everything. Okay. Some of them may remember it. Some may know what it is. Some may think, oh, that was something in Ghostbusters, the first movie, the original, right? That's how we learned, how we got our information, how we didn't do fake news, anything like that. And to talk to somebody, you either picked up a phone that looks like this with a cord and a wire like this, or you wrote a letter and everything. And that's what is crazy about now that all the correspondence now is Skype, everything and stuff like that. Okay. What I'm upset about in the situation is that if someone keeps trying to manipulate a situation, even though the situation, there was nothing to manipulate in the situation, that everything was fine, but takes the advice of others who don't know what they're talking about because they don't know the situation at hand because they only hear half-truths and won't speak to the other party, that's the problem at hand and everything. Like the fact that I keep reminding you people, if you are blocked on my YouTube or certain words are blocked on my YouTube because you guys don't know how to think civilly or talk like human beings and pronounce and speak like adults, you are not going to be seen on the comments. And then to top it off, they used a porn star, Amy D, I think her name was, or Annie D, right? And put it on one of my old videos from last year saying that Christopher's not coming back. Yeah, Christopher's not coming back because he knows he fucked up and did wrong. And he lied, and he knows it's safer for him to stay away. But Luke don't get the message, and neither the other ones. And Luke has been telling people he knows me. And the best one I got today was, I haven't told my friend because she's in a serious situation right now, and everything as well as some other people, was someone had just called to say to me, oh, I heard you and Christopher did something, so when's the baby going to be born? I'm like, okay, who's starting that rumor now? All right? Because they think the because I know it's somebody on Facebook because good news and everything will be coming soon. Yeah, uh, yeah. What's the good news? Like people keep asking, what's the good news? I'm getting phone calls, right? But I love that one. Me and Christopher are having a baby now. Yeah, that that's a good phone call. And you know they keep saying Luke is saying all these things about you and everything and stuff that he knows you intimately, backwards and forwards, everything. I said really, I never even met the person. First words out of his mouth was that Christopher has never been with a girl and does not know how to deal with girls. Okay? And then the next thing, he's telling my friend he wants to rip me a new one for arguing with Christopher. Even though Luke is married, has a kid, and has to deal with his own family, feels that he has taken upon himself to be in my relationship with Christopher. So is he jealous or something like my boss said? He's got to be jealous of Christopher. So here's the thing, people. All right? Either you all cut it out. Because I'm not the one hurting here. You're hurting Christopher. You all are. Because in my little world, okay, I don't have a fantasy world. I don't live off of video games, getting recognition because my cosplay is screen accurate, all this other stuff and everything. I don't need validation like that, okay? I don't need that to make me happy. I'm happy already. You guys didn't break me. You guys are hurting him. All right. You're making him go batshit crazy. You're making him because you want to start with me, which then triggers him. All right. Because I know he lied. I know he told half truths to all of you. But here's the thing. Why don't you act like civil human beings and pick up a goddamn phone or write me a letter and say, can I talk with you? Can I please speak with you? But no, you want to keep feeding into this to make him act like that so that he brings it back to me because you think it's going to come back to me no matter what and give you guys entertainment purposes. No, it makes all of you look like asses. It just gives me the, the, the reason to validate so that when the police department in the UK and here in the United States has all this documentation for when, in case, God forbid, any of you decide to attack me or do anything, look at this. I have been telling them to stop since God knows when, July. I've been saying, stop bullying me, stop bullying me, stop bullying me. But none of you get that through your fucking heads. All right? Like I said, 
You will be shot out here. You will be told about you and everything. You're all caught. We know who you are. We know who's doing it. And it ain't from people who are still friends with Christopher and it ain't people that are friends with me that know Christopher. It is because thanks to lawyers, police departments and everything and Facebook and, and YouTube, we have narrowed it down. And we know it's mostly Luke, Christopher, and the rest of the bunch. Because it's funny how Josh loved and wanted me to come out there and gave $10 to my GoFundMe account, but then I'm a bitch to him that I'm not perfect for Christopher. Don't play those games with me. All right? I am dealing with a lot in my life the way you guys should be dealing with things with adults do. All right? You shouldn't be resorting to this. This is how my week has been. All right? And it even gets even better. Like I said, I have good news. But I'm not sharing that good news with anybody because it's not mine to share. It is for me. And it's happy news. But none of you will know about it because I don't know yet if it's going to go into fruition yet. It depends on what's, what the, the, the parameters are and everything. Okay. Also, I was able to get my laptop fixed and found some footage that was lost from the UK trip that I thought was deleted because after Christopher's dad went into the hospital, see, I was supposed to vlog every day I was out there, right? And I was going to make it a series and stuff that was pretty cool and everything, right? And I started doing it in the backyard where Christopher sat in his friggin' armchair at the, by the patio door and everything. And I even state that in the video, okay? But I thought I deleted those out because of everything. But when I was fixing my laptop, I actually didn't delete them out. That was the start of me showing you guys I was there, all right? But because everything got turned around, most of it got put onto Facebook, most of it got put whatever else. What I'm saying to you people is this. Get your facts, get your story straight. Luke does not know me. Luke is just somebody that has a boring life because probably his life is that boring that he needs to be jealous of Christopher because of Christopher's famous actress or background actress, voiceover. I did a couple of them. I have my Disney one up there. Uh, let's see. People knowing, uh, let's see, can wear not wear makeup and look still pretty type of, you know what I mean? I ain't vain. But this is what people were pointing out to me why you could be jealous, Luke. You know what I mean? And I look at them like, why does he need to be jealous? What is this jealousy? See, that's where the concept is. Maybe because I was raised sheltered. Maybe because I was raised by people who did not get jealous, hateful, and envious. Because we learned at an early age, why be jealous of something when you can create something? Why go be jealous by hate, hate somebody when it's not their fault sometimes? It's how they're raised. Why be envious of something when you can just basically go out and get something comparable to it and still have the same type of things and stuff? You don't have to, what is it, Bogart or what are these words you guys talk about? And you don't have to copy other people's things, you know? You don't have to be a follower. Be a leader for once in your life, all right? Like now, people keep dropping off my page. That's okay. Go. I told you. It's a revolving door. Just let me make sure the door hits you on your ass on the way out. You don't like me? Fine. But get your story straight. Get the facts straight and everything. Like I said, why don't you question Luke on why he hates my guts? Why, do you, why don't you question Luke on why he's jealous of me? As my boss said. Everyone said this to me. Everyone has said this. Why is Luke doing this and everything? He can't get around it. He's been caught too many times. He's caught. So, you know what I mean? He's caught. Like I said, too, you've got Josh and Rachel still on my as subscribers to my page on YouTube. If you didn't like me and you hate, you think I'm bad for Christopher, then get the fuck off. You know? Take your stuff off my page. That's what I've been telling people. If you think I'm such a bitch, the witch of the East, or anything like this, then why are you still there? Why do you care? You know? Are you there to keep tabs on me for your little friend who knows he fucked up and lied? Are you there because you have a guilty conscience because you all lied too? That's the thing about me. I don't fucking care what you do. But when you lie about me and manipulate the truth for your own advantage, that's when you piss me off. And I get the police involved in everything because you guys think, oh, a little bullying doesn't hurt anybody. Yes, it does. And it's going to hurt you. Because that's the one thing as adults we should learn. Bullying is wrong. I've never bullied Christopher. Like I said, I was the one calling the consulate. I have his passport information, his birthday, everything else you could think of. Where were all of you when he wanted to come here? I couldn't go there because I had school. 
okay? I graduated and I was all set to go. I wanted to surprise him. I was trying to work something out with his dad and his mom where I was going to surprise him, but Alex and Kim beat me to the punch with the wedding, all right? I wanted to surprise him because of all the good he did. But when he lost his job and went into that fugue state and you guys manipulated the fucking ass out of him and made him feel like I was, that it, being with me was the wrong thing, that's where you pissed me off even more. You should not have made your friend feel like that for loving somebody who could love him back. And now two people are hurting right now. Me, I just get over it quickly. I can get over it. I'm good. I'm fine. Because I know there's more out there for me. I won't love the next person the same way I loved him, but that's okay. But now Christopher has to either downgrade or upgrade for me. And trust me, if you have to upgrade for me, you're going to be spending a lot of money. Got a downgrade for me? I hope the person, um, yeah. I hope the, you know, okay, fine. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. All right. So this is so far how my week has been. Dealing with hateful comments. Thank you. Dealing with hateful comments. Luke spreading rumors about me. Luke giving me a hashtag called uh, hashtag Osh the Grouch, as well as the village idiot. Uh, harassing my friends. We lost two stars, one in County Durham and one here in the States. So, okay. We have, let's see what else. Um, I have some good news coming my way in about a year. I had someone call me saying that Luke knows me intimately and everything and was shocked that I want Christopher back. Okay. Also, another phone call saying that Christopher and me are having a child. So that was a fun one because they think that's what the good news is and that I was keeping a secret from him and everything. That's the best one. Uh, let's see what else is there. YouTube has contacted many things on my behalf and everything. So we're going to see what happens and stuff like that within the next few days and stuff. But so far, this is what's been going on for this on this Sunday. You know, it is February 26, 2017, and I, all I've been doing is paying bills. With, and you want to laugh, guys? And I'm going to still show you my ankle is still sprained. So I can't run. I can't do anything.